Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another resin tutorial. So today I am actually going to take some little tiny fractured heart molds with the kind that kind of look like diamonds or gems but they're hearts. I'm going to make a resin project with them with little conversation hearts for Valentine's Day. So these little hearts, they could be a really cute paperweight or just something to set on your counter or even a decoration. But I have a plan. I'm going to incorporate these into a cricket sign for Valentine's Day and that will be later. But for today, we are just going to make the hearts. You can use them for whatever you like. I'm going to make a sign with them and I'm pretty excited because I just had to take my Christmas sign down and I need something fun to replace it with. So let's just jump right into the supply list. You're going to need your mold. I had two separate molds for this project and I will link both of those down below. One's just a little bigger than the other ones. Um, I wanted two different sizes. If I was doing this again, I would probably buy even different, even larger differences because when they're done, they're only like a smidge different. So whatever, they're still gonna be great. You also need your resin. I used amazing clear cast resin for this project. You need all of your proper safety equipment. I'm talking gloves and your respirator, even goggles if you think you may need goggles. You're going to need um, your molds and a heat gun to pop all the bubbles, especially because we are using candy in this project and they tend to trap bubbles really well. I did as a last minute idea, I was working on a different project, a little feather um, candy or ring or trinket dish with some alcohol ink. And I did at the last minute decide to add a little alcohol ink pink background to two of the hearts and I love how it turned out. So if you like that, I used a little red, a little white, and I think a little pearl alcohol ink to add the background to those. And I think that's it. Of course, the full supply list will be down below so you can click on anything you need. And we're going to jump right into this project. This is pretty beginner level. Um, the candy is definitely the hardest part and even that is not difficult. So let's get started.
All right, y'all. What do you think? Are you obsessed? So here's the ones with the pink background. Oh, it's like shady. I just, I, I really like how these with the background turned out. Here's the clear one. And you can tell, like, they're both pretty. I'll put some close up, like, real shots in here. Now, even letting the resin, like, thicken a little bit, I did get a few little bubbles under the candy pieces. The only way I know of to really avoid that is to coat your candy pieces in resin first and then put them in the resin, kind of at an angle. Um, and since, in this case, I really wanted you to be able to read the candy hearts once they were in the project, and I was afraid that the resin would eat away at those candy pieces the longer they were coated, I, I avoided that. Now, whether I know that would work or not, I'm not sure, but this worked. The couple bubbles that are in there don't bother me. If they bother you, then that's what I would try. Coat your resin maybe with a little paintbrush first and then put it into your project. But in the meantime, I am going to go break up Cricut and start on dogs. Start on the sign for these. I hope you guys liked this project. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. We'll be back with more projects next week. Bye, y'all.